Well, it's the opening day of antelope archery season here in Nebraska. I just came out here late last night and uh, camped overnight. Been glassing up on this hill all morning. Haven't really seen a whole lot. Saw a couple across the road about three or four miles away out in an alfalfa field. But uh, my hope is I can find a goat over the next today and tomorrow. Uh, basically just got this Saturday and Sunday to hunt. So really hoping I can uh, find a good goat and either get in a stock or find where they've been going to a tank and just setting up in a blind and sitting there all day today, all day tomorrow. So trying to get my bearings, figure out what's around and where the goats are at, what pasture they're in. And hopefully I can get set up on them and make a move and make something happen. Let's go. for these last couple days, but sometimes two days just isn't enough. So probably gonna try to slip in a day after my Colorado elk hunt coming back through here. But otherwise looking at the schedule, it's not looking good to make it back out. But I love antelope meat, so we'll see what we can do. Well, it is September 25th and I'm back in the antelope blind. Did not think I would be able to have the opportunity to make it back out here. I'm set up on the exact same tank that I left about a month ago in August when I was last here. I haven't put up the blind since then and popped it up this morning in the dark. All the windows are in the perfect position and everything. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. I know there was a ton of antelope here last time. Uh, there, I don't know last time it rained, but there's really not a lot of tracks around this tank. So I'm not sure if they're hitting it quite as much as they were a month ago. I know there's antelope in the area, so we're just gonna sit tight. I'm not gonna be too picky. I mean, I've got just today and maybe tomorrow morning if I can stretch it to, to get it done and then make it back on time. So if anything comes in, I'm gonna see if I can make a good shot and make it happen. Wish me luck. Like the, the Jason that I've been seeing going on. That little buck in 
this though. And, you know, there's pretty decent odds that we could get a pretty nice buck to chase a doe right through here. So, we're going to sit tight for now. Like I said, if I get a nice good shot on a doe or a smaller buck, I'm totally going to take it. This is pretty much my only day to hunt for the rest of the year for antelope. And, uh, I love antelope meat. <laughs> A lot of antelope in the area. I think these are all the same goats that I was seeing when I was here a month ago. So, hoping not a lot has changed. And hoping that I can get lucky. This is awesome. Got him. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> just got him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Yes, antelope down, baby. 2022 Nebraska antelope. Can't beat that one bit. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna get it done this year. <laughs> He's not a, not a big goat by any means, but oh my gosh, I am freaking pumped. That is awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle I was even able to make it back out here for a hunt and have it work out not even just a couple hours in on this this pretty much final day in the morning this is awesome <sighs> so, set this down holy cow <laughs> big old two inch swacker I haven't tried this one but uh, it sure did the trick Arrow is soaked in blood, and he's laying right here, <laughs> probably just another 50 yards from me. It's crazy. Look at that. That's awesome. Let's go get him. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what a beauty. Couldn't be more thankful to have this beautiful goat. He's nothing overly special by any means, but I'm proud to get him, that's for sure. He's gonna be some great taste in meat. Antelope is some of my favorite, and I'm beyond thrilled to be able to fill my tag. So, <laughs> I'm pumped. Quick little final tip for you here. When you're hunting antelope, it's very important to get the meat taken care of as soon as possible. It's generally pretty hot, and the meat, for whatever reason, seems to spoil rather quickly. So it's very important to get those meat, the meat off, or the hide off the meat, and then the quarters all separated and down on ice. And I've got a way to get back to the vehicle. So what I'm doing is I'm going back to the tank where the sides of the tank and the shade are nice and cool from the cool water. And then the sun not hitting it, I'm going to set all these quarter bags and all the meat bags up against it. And Hopefully I try to keep this meat cool before I can get it back to the to the vehicle with the cooler and ice. So 
just a quick tip for you. Make sure you take care of your meat and antelope is some of the most delicious meat there is. Enjoy.